wish to ask questions? Ah, oh, Congressman, uh, as usual, Marcoleta. <laughs> Salamat po, the better one. Buti na lang, uh, buti lang na-realize mo. Uh. Attorney Mauricio, according to this uh, profile and investigation report which this body furnishes us every time, you were previously married with uh, the sister of our colleague here, Senator uh, Contiveros. We're surprised why this marriage was declared null and void ab initio by an RTC court in Pasay City. Can you care to explain why it happened that way? Uh, Your Honor, I uh, I have full respect to my former wife, and uh, I, I I guess we've grown apart. But she's uh, she's been very supportive of of the family, including my two daughters with her. And that are you saying that because Senator Reese is here? No, it's the truth, uh, Your Honor. My, my sister knows about it, yeah. So she is your former sister-in-law? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, Senator Riz. Uh, excuse me, are you done, uh, Congressman Marcoleta? Mr. Chair, the question was not answered because... <laughs> we were very curious, you know, uh, attorney, you were a lawyer. When the marriage was declared... Null and void ab initio, it is as if that it did not exist at all. Look, it, it is as if that it did not happen at all. Yun ang gusto namin malaman, bakit nangyari yun? You were, you, you, you were supposed to be conscious at the time you were hurting your previous wife. And you were, as a lawyer, you were conscious of your legal... Uh, Accountabilities, the legal requirements of a marriage. So, why not yari yun? Your Honor, what I can say is, uh, I cannot say anything. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a tough question, Your Honor, but she's been very supportive, and the relationship with the families has been Mr. there. Mr. Chair, you know, we're not about to open up goods or whatever, but this is this proceeding happens to be one of uh, that would go into the fitness and merit of an occupant of a public office. We are. As, as an appointee of an important office, you are chief of mission two of the Department of Foreign Affairs. And as a lawyer yourself, we, we cannot imagine how a marriage can be declared null and void ab initio without any explanation. Mr. Chair. Maybe you can, maybe you want to disabuse our minds. Sir. Mr. Chair. Uh, before that, uh, the uh, Majority Floor Leader. Yeah, lang, we're not prying into the private life of the nominee, Mr. Chair. I think the CA's mandate is integrity fitness. Uh, we just want an honest answer. And uh, just answer it directly, uh, Mr. Chair, is our, uh, no, is our uh, what is uh, being asked by uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Please proceed, uh, Attorney Mauricio. Uh, Your Honor, there are two types of uh, resolution by the court with respect to declaration of uh, nullity, void, ab initio, under Article 36 of the 
family code, the legal effects of the marriage that has been voided ab initio by the courts recognizes the subsist the the legal effects or rights of the children during the subsistence of the marriage before it was voided. That was the status of my the the declaration of nullity on my case, Your Honor. So my the legitimacy the legitimacy of my two daughters with my former wife, they're still it's still there. It's still intact. The all I can say is, uh, it's it's probably the the disappearance or the deterioration of love on on one or both of the parties, and uh, it's it's something that's difficult to mm -hmm. quantify if it's not there because two parties have grown apart. Then. Uh, it's beyond it's beyond my power mr chair uh, majority floor leader uh, for the record to enlighten the body siguro just cite na the basis of the decision what is the basis of the decision of the court uh, as far as uh, to summarize it your honor i admitted psychological incapacity yeah, on that, my that's part that's what we were trying to ano uh, because most of the declaration of ab initio or separation is basically what either of the party declares mental or emotional or psychological uh, defects isn't that true as a lawyer diba that's I true i think 99.9% .9 of uh, annulment cases is either of the parties uh, declare uh, psychological, mental, emotional uh, uh, defects on either one. Uh, diba po? Correct, Your Honor. So I, that is the basis. Yes. And when you said psychological, uh, who declared a psychological uh, uh, incapacity? You or your wife or your former wife? The, the court declared it was uh, both of us, but I admitted in the petition that I was psychologically incapacitated. Incapacitated. I think that's the point of Congressman Marcoleta. No, uh, would there be an issue? Was your psychological incapacity or problem before still existent now? No, no, Your Honor, doesn't exist anymore. The the resolution was issued in two thousand six, and I've been promoted several times in the Department of Foreign Affairs uh, without any issue on my competence or psychological state of mind. In fact, one of the required things for me to be invited here is my psychological fitness as attested by, by a licensed psychologist, Your Honor. In psychological uh, incapacity or defect at pointed at that time, was it uh, emotional? in terms of you controlling your temper or handling stress? Because your job will require a lot of stress, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chair. Because of the work, Your Honor, that I had, I was uh, absent in that relationship for quite some time to earn and take care of my family. I think that was uh, one of the bigger reasons. Anyway, uh, we uh, no, uh, pasensya na po for asking, but that is our duty. But uh, we do not want to delve or pry into your private life, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Majority Floor Leader. Congressman Mercurata, are you satisfied with the answers given to you? I'm more confused, uh, Mr. <laughs> Chair, because why would uh, the appointee say that uh, it is his work that caused the uh, psychological incapacity as a ground for the nullification of his marriage. Mm. It does not compute, uh, Mr. Chair. I hope you can explain it better. I ang inexpect kung lang sabihin mo, baka yung nagkasal sa inyo ay hindi naman walang lisensya. That's easily talagang null and void yung ano mo. O kaya 14 years old ka pa lang noon, wala kang parental consent. No, how old kaya you naman wala kang married. contract of marriage. Eh. Pero kung sasabihin mo, psychological incapacity, we'll be more confused with that answer, Mr. Chair. How old were you when you first got married? Turning, turning 20, Your Honor. Okay. And how would you prove to us that that, in, that, that psychological, psychological incapacity was already overcome by you? Is there any 
certification coming from a competent psychologist that finally that psychological incapacity which was the ground for the nullification of your marriage no longer exists today yes your honor it's a uh, it's been submitted the psychological test was submitted by a licensed psychologist who's also accredited as a psychologist by the supreme court it is not in our record mr chair yeah we need to know when what that what was that issued and if it's updated Yes, Your Honor. I will, I will resubmit another copy of that report, Your Honor. Can I just interject, uh, Congressman Marcoleta? Uh, you mentioned to me earlier that uh, you first got married at the age of 20. Am I correct? Yes, Your Honor. Based and on uh, the, the course, court 19. declared your mar marriage null and void ab initio because you were psychologically incapacitated. Am I correct? With, res work. with respect to that marriage, yes. All right. Honor. What was your work when you were? What was what was your job when you when you were twenty years old that caused you so much stress? Uh, I was a working student, Your Honor. My first job was here in the Senate. At the age of twenty. Twenty one, Your Honor. You're under. Uh, first, I was under Senator Rigberto Tanyada, Bobby Tanyada. And then, after being a staff, uh, technical assistant for Senator Tanyada, I was eventually taken in by the Senate Secretariat where I handled some committees, Your Honor. I was also assigned with the former Senate President Tobito Salonga, and after him, former Senate President Edgardo Angara. Does that mean to say that you were stressed working under <laughs> Senator Tanyada? <laughs> no, Your Honor, not at all. Okay. Congressman Marcoleta, any questions? Any further questions? Mr. Chair, I just noted that uh, this work experience of the nominee is not indicated in the Profile report. It's not here, Mr. Chair. So this report and submission should be, you know, there should be honest submissions of uh, previous work experiences. Wala. Ah, ito. And dito pala, under uh, um, number three, career highlights. Apologize, on page five. Yes. Okay, Congressman Marcoleta, any further questions? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I, I maintain uh, my previous uh, view that when uh, a marriage is nullified, a uh, void ab initio, under Article, under Article 4 of Family Code, it should, the, the ground must be any of the following. When there is absence of any of the formal or essential requisites of a valid marriage, one legal capacity of contracting the of the contracting parties, whether consent is freely given, or the authority of the solemnizing officer, the validity of marriage license, or maybe the marriage ceremony. This is one of those, this is not one of those uh, he's mentioning, and he was unable to tell us that the psychological incapacity was proved to be existing prior to the marriage, or even at the existence of the marriage. So, parang merong, 
daunting problem that should be looked into, Mr. Chair, considering that we are passing upon the fitness and the merit of, of an appointee of the executive. Attorney Mauricio, you may now respond. Uh, your Honor, I can only inform the body, Mr. Chair, and Your Honor, about what I know as a lawyer about jurisprudence with respect to a specific provision in the Family Code, particularly Article 36. And the Supreme Court has stated that, the, that with respect to the psychological incapacity, it can be a condition that can exist peculiar to that particular marriage because of the circumstances of both uh, parties. And it may not exist previous to that, or it may not exist after that. It does not an indication of a incapacity or psychological, neurological disorder with respect to the profession, but only with respect to the relationship. We have a lot of uh, professionals, Your Honor, who may have some incapacity to love with a particular relationship and some who have capacity to love with other relationship. That's all that I can mention. And uh, it's, uh, I know it's jurisprudential, Your Honor, and that's what I know. Uh, this is not the same as the uh, declaration of nullity void ab initio, like in cases of bigamy, when the Supreme Court, by jurisprudence, applying the provision of the family code, states or has stated that the marriage is deemed not to have happened and no legal recognition of the effect of such marriage have been granted by the law or the court even during the time that it was not yet declared void of the ab initio. That's all, Your Honor, that I can say, based on my legal... Mr. Reasoning. Chair, that argument does not place even a better position. You know, even, even uh, on the argument that we can accept that your marriage was uh, nullified based on existing prior your marriage was established by the court, it's only, this is personal to you and your wife, your previous wife. But in this case, you're representing the country. And it's no longer personal. This is something that is connected with, with your duty as a public officer. And so we would like to know whether that psychological incapacity still persists in relation to your capacity to represent this country. This is very important, Mr. Chair, until and unless you prove to us that that ground in your previous marriage was already fully overcome. We still have the doubts, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Uh, Mr. With all uh, due respect, Congressman Marcoleta, I think the nominee has already uh, submitted a certification coming from the uh, uh, a psychologist if I may, it is also part of the requirement uh, uh, given to the uh, CA. Do you have any copy? I, I can furnish you a copy. Uh, maybe while browsing on the uh, document, uh, can I recognize uh, Senator Risa? You want to, to, to propound some questions? Salamat po, Mr. Chair. Uh, wala po akong tanong. Uh, brief manifestation lang po na dahil nabanggit po kami nung kapatid ko that uh, I appreciate um, Attorney Mauricio's humility to talk about uh, a very difficult experience uh, to talk about love uh, with respect for my sister. Na appreciate ko po yon, uh, Mr. Chairman, as a woman and as her sister. Uh, bahagi po ng napag-usapan ay lalo na dun sa usapin ng psychological incapacity and its citing in uh, annulment cases ay incidentally bahagi nung uh, dahilan para sa mga uh, 
uh, dissolution of marriage or divorce bills pending in Congress, both houses. And uh, last but not the least, sa kabila ng lahat na nang nangyari, uh, and also because of that uh, respect na, na nakikita kong namamagitan pa rin, sa kabila ng lahat, sa pagitan ng aking kapatid at attorney, uh, Mauricio, bagamat tama yung sinabi ni Chair na former sister-in-law na lang ako, but I still do consider attorney Mauricio in spirit at least as my brother-in-law. Salamat po, Mr. Thank Chair. Thank you. Mab mabait po siyong brother-in-law sa inyo. Minsan po. <laughs> <laughs> At uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Uh, Senator Risa, sino po mas matanda yung, yung kapatid nyo o yung kayo? Mr. Chair, ako ba yung ano, dinidin? <laughs> Siyempre bilang ate, kailangan ko sabihin yung kapatid ko. Ah, okay. <laughs> My, Mr. Chair, I do not wish to uh, make any comment on this <laughs> psychological report. I am not a uh, psychologist. Suffice it to say that we have aired our uh, our opinions on the matter, and it would seem that uh, it's up to uh, to the committee to to decide. Okay, thank you, uh, Congressman Marcoleta. Are there any other questions coming from the members of? Uh... The commission. Majority floor leader. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, all issues, concerns have been raised. I move to recommend to the plenary for the commission to give its consent to the nomination of Volter de la Cruz Mauricio, Chief of Mission Class 2. Mr. Chair. There is a motion uh, to recommend to the plenary for the commission to give its consent to the nomination of Voltaire de la Cruz Mauricio, Chief of Mission Class 2. Is there any objection? I second the motion, Mr. Chair. And seconded by Senator Risa Hontiveros. Any objection? There being none, the same is hereby approved. Congratulations. Mr. Chair, I move to recommend to the plenary for the commission to give its consent to the nomination of Mr. Val... Ah, sorry. Iba na pala to. Okay. Mamadali ka. You apologize. 